Hello and welcome to another section of this complete JavaScript course. In this section, we are going to learn about some new syntax and some data structures which was introduced in ES6 version of JavaScript. So far, for the data structure, we have only talked about arrays. But in this section, we are also going to talk about some other data structures like maps and sets which is provided in JavaScript and which was introduced in ES6 version of JavaScript. We are also going to learn about some new syntaxes like array and object destructuring, spread operator, rest pattern, nullishcolizing operator and many more things. These are the new syntaxes and operators which was introduced in ES6 version of JavaScript. So let's start this section by understanding what is destructuring syntax and we are going to learn about array destructuring. So destructuring assignment or destructuring syntax, it is a special type of syntax in JavaScript which was introduced in ES6 and it allows us to unpack arrays or objects into a bunch of variables. We can use destructuring syntax on an array or on an object. So in this lecture, let's learn what is destructuring syntax and how we can use it on an array. Now, typically, let's say we have this person array. Now, what we want is we want to get access to each element of this person array and we want to assign it to a variable. Now, without destructuring syntax, what we will have to do is we will have to create a variable like this and then using the index of the element, we will access the element and then we will assign it to that variable. So, for example, I'm creating this first name variable and to that I want to assign the first element from this person array. So, for that, I'll access the first element using its index. For the first element, the index will be zero. So, I'll access it like this and then I'm assigning that value to this first name variable. In the same way, I want to assign this second element of this person array to the last name variable. So again, I'm accessing it using its index and then I'm assigning it to a variable. Now with destructuring syntax, creating the variable and assigning it with the element of an array becomes much more simpler. So this is the destructuring syntax for destructuring an array. Here what we are doing is we are using this const keyword to create some variables. You can also use let keyword if you're going to modify the variables in the future. But here, since I don't want to modify the variables, what I have done is I have used this const keyword and then within the square brackets, I'm specifying some variable names. I'm specifying the first name variable, last name variable and age variable. And to that here, I'm assigning an array, but I could have also assigned this person array. But instead of assigning this person array, I'm assigning another array here. So what will happen is this first element will be assigned to this first name variable. This second element will be assigned to this last name variable and this value 28, it will be assigned to this age variable. And this is called as destructuring syntax for an array. Let's try to understand this practically. So here I have this person array. And now what I want is I want to get access to each element of this person array and I want to assign it to a variable. For that, what I can do is I can use let or const keyword to create the variable. And here, instead of directly creating the variable, since we want to destructure an array, we will use a set of square brackets like this. And inside that, we need to specify the variable names. So here I'm going to create a first name variable, a last name variable, and an age variable. And to this, I'm going to assign this person array. Now what JavaScript will do here is, JavaScript will assign the first element of this person array to this first variable, the second element of this person array to this second variable, and the third element of this person array to this third variable. So John will be assigned to first name, Smith will be assigned to last name, and 28 will be assigned to age. And this is called as array destructuring. Here, we are destructuring an array by assigning the elements of that array to a variable. So if I go ahead and if I log first name, last name and age, and if I save the changes, you will see for the first name, John is logged because John was assigned to this first name variable. For the last name, 
Smith is logged because Smith was assigned to this last name variable and for the age 28 is logged because this 28 was assigned to this age variable. Now remember that the array destructuring uses the position of the element and array destructuring will not destroy the original array. This person array it is still intact it is still there but based on the position of these variables the elements from the person array has been assigned to those variables so the first element has been assigned to first variable second element has been assigned to second variable and third element has been assigned to third variable so array destructuring uses the position of the elements for assigning it to a variable here since we have not specified any fourth variable so that's why this male this element will not be assigned to any variable but if you also want to assign it to a variable for example let's say gender then you can specify the fourth variable in that case this fourth element will be assigned to the fourth variable now let's say you only want to create three variables first name last name and gender you want to assign the first name with the first element the last name with the second element and the gender with this value male here you don't want to have any age variable so if i remove this in that case what will happen is here we do not have the age variable now so let me try to log the gender variable and if i save the changes you will see that for the gender 28 is logged because as we learned array destructuring uses the position for assigning the values so this third element will be assigned to the third variable but to this gender variable we want to assign this value male so here what we will have to do is we will have to skip this third element and to skip the third element we can use extra comma like this in this case john will be assigned to first name smith will be assigned to last name for this third element we have not created any variable so it will not be assigned to any variable and for this gender male will be assigned and now if i save the changes you will see that for the gender now it is logging male so if you want to skip an assignment for an element you can use an extra comma like this without specifying the variable name now what if i create another variable let's say city but for that variable we do not have any element in the array in the array we have four elements so first element will be assigned to first variable second element will be assigned to second variable this third element will not be assigned to any variable because we are not specifying any variable here this male it will be assigned to gender but for the city we do not have any element that can be assigned to this city variable in that case this city will be assigned with value undefined so if i go ahead and if i log city also and if i save the changes you will see for that undefined is logged now let's say for a variable if we do not have any value to be assigned from the array which we are destructuring and in that case we want to assign a default value to it you can do that by here using this assignment operator so here let's say if there is no value for the city variable in that case by default the city should be london if i save the changes now you will see that for the city london is logged but if i have a value for the city variable in the array which we are destructuring for example mumbai if i save the changes now now this mumbai will be assigned to this city variable in that case this default value will not be used if i save the changes you will see that now for the city variable mumbai is being logged so here when a value is available for the city variable that value will be assigned otherwise if the value is not available this default value will be assigned to this city variable now what if my array contains nested array also and i want to destructure that so for example let's say inside this person array we have a nested array where we have the city and the country so let's say country is india and now what i want is i want to assign this first element to the first name variable second element to the second name variable i don't want to assign this third element to any variable but i want to assign this male to this fourth variable i mean to this third variable in this list and then we have a nested array and in that nested array we have two elements so i want to assign this element of this nested array to the city variable 
and the second element of the nested array to let's say country variable so to destructure the nested array inside this array destructuring syntax we will have to use another set of square brackets and in there we can specify the variable names for the nested elements so for example here i can specify city variable and country variable in this case this nested array will also get destructured and the first element of the nested array will be assigned to the first element which we have inside this square bracket i mean the first variable which we have inside this square bracket and this country name will be assigned to this second variable of this nested square brackets so if we go ahead and if we log city and country like this if i save the changes you will see that city and country is logged properly if i don't use this nested square bracket inside this array destructuring syntax in that case this array will be assigned to this city variable and since we do not have any other element this country will be undefined if i save the changes that's what you will notice this array this nested array has been assigned to the city variable and since we do not have any other element after this nested array this country is undefined so if you want to destructure a nested array you need to specify the variable names inside a nested square bracket like this and now you will see that we have proper result so this is array destructuring syntax using array destructuring we can assign the elements of an array to a variable so this array destructuring syntax it is a very useful feature when you want to assign some of the elements of an array to a variable this syntax is simple and you can create multiple variables and assign it with an array element in the same line here you do not have to create variables separately and then assign it with an element of an array here you can create the variables in the same line and you simply assign the array which you want to destructure here if you only want to get the first name and last name from this person array you can simply create first name and last name variable and omit other variables in this case this first name will be assigned to this first name variable and the second element this value smith it will be assigned to this last name variable okay let me comment these console.log statements and if i save the changes you have the first name and last name from this person array so destructuring syntax makes extracting data from an array or an object very simple and readable in this lecture we saw an example of extracting elements from an array and assigning it to a variable now we can also destructure an object and assign the value of its properties to a variable and that we are going to learn in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day